Hi guys and welcome to the channel, Ron's Keto Cafe, and I'm Ron, if you're new, welcome, and if you're a returning member, welcome back. And if you're a new member, could you please share, like, and smash the uh, subscribe button, it helps other members know when I'm posting videos. And again, before we get started, I'm not a medical doctor, I don't make any medical claims, and this is all based on my own personal journey. Well, welcome to week 166 update, and uh, yeah, I didn't have a very good week as far as weight loss was concerned. I gained about five pounds, and that was to be expected. This past weekend, as you know, on my old uh, video that I did from Sunday, the uh, previous video, on the uh, Sunday morning live with Ron, we uh, went to Foxwood Saturday, and uh, it was the Oktoberfest, and uh, we didn't win anything, but we had a good time. Um, cost me quite a bit of money to play bingo. It was $630 to play bingo. It was a prepaid package. You had to buy it in advance through Ticketmaster, and I uh, did all that. So we left the house around four o'clock in the morning. We got there around 5.30 maybe, and we stood in line, and it's not selling or giving out the packages until around seven. Now mind you, the bingo doesn't start till like 11.30 in the morning. And uh, so we were in line with about 500 people ahead of us while we were um, waiting to get our package. And then I had my receipt on a printout and I couldn't use the receipt because it didn't have a barcode and they wouldn't let you use that as a receipt anyways. So you had to sign into your Ticketmaster with your barcode on there. And on your mobile app, there's a line that goes across your um, barcodes. And the reason for that, my cousin was telling me was because they didn't want anybody, any duplicate tickets or somebody stealing somebody else's information. And the only one that can use the uh, ticket is through Ticketmaster is doing it that way. So when you're going to a sporting event or, or if you're going to a concert or something, either buying your tickets through Ticketmaster, that's how they do that now. So, and so, the, so in other words, they, you know, scalp tickets or anything like that. So anyways, so we get in line. And I'm trying to log into my Ticketmaster account and it would not let me because I couldn't remember what the password was. So luckily my cousin Diane was uh, standing next to her while we were walking through line and uh, it took a better part than an hour and a half to figure it out. And it, anyways, it was, she had to do it, it was a two uh, code system where you needed a two part verification with an email and with a code and she finally was able to reset my password for me and log into my Ticketmaster account. And uh, had I known that, I would have done that the day before there and uh, made sure that was all working. So now I know next time when I want to do something like that, if I want to go to a concert or a ball game or something like that, I'll be able to log in that way. And uh, yeah, so that was quite an experience. So we get into the bingo hall and uh, again, they didn't start selling the, uh, giving out the uh, computers until uh, 11 o'clock and they didn't start playing until 11.30. And uh, the seating capacity there was like 5,000 people. That, and they had that many. There wasn't one empty seat that I could find. And uh, I had a couple of weights. I, the closest I came to winning $15,000 was I needed 73 for the uh, block of nine. And it was the next number showing after somebody just beat me to it. So, you know, it was just the way it goes. It was a night out. It was fun. It was just a break from my wife for the day. Her, her, her giving a break from me and the cat. And uh, will I ever do a big bingo like that again? No, it's just, uh, you know, I personally, I told my sister, you know what, I spent $630. I could have just taken all that money and I could have divided it by 50 and bought $50 scratch tickets. And I guarantee you I would have won at least two or three times on the $50 scratch to come back with a little bit of money. And the losing tickets, I got to put them into the computer for losing, uh, you know, for second chance drawing. And... Uh, so, but, you know, we had fun. I didn't win anything on the slots. Uh, Foxes has all changed since the last time we've been up there. I didn't care for it at all, to tell you the guy's honest truth. I, I mean, I'll go back at some point, you know, but uh, what, probably, I don't know if I'll play bingo anymore. But, it, you know, they do have cheaper packages where it's like $15 to get in to play bingo. And you, you can get a computer. When you get a computer, it costs you double because you have to buy two packages. And uh, and they had one winner that won $100,000, you know, that was pretty cool. And then I saw about three or four people that hauled at bingo and they had it, but they wouldn't pay you because they didn't have another last time I called. And so they lost out on $15,000 each. So it's their hard luck. You know, Foxes don't have any sympathy for you. And uh, yeah, so anyway, so Saturday, because it was a long day for me, we, when we left at 4.30 in the morning, I'm sitting down all day long, all day long. 
and those banquet chairs are so uncomfortable and I'm sitting down there trying to stretch out my hip area and what happened was towards the end of the day my leg cramped up on me and all my muscles under my thigh area just tightened up and when I got up to, to, to uh, go to the bathroom I couldn't put any pressure on my leg to walk and I started getting really nauseous and I thought I was going to vomit and uh, I had to, I had to kind of like gingerly walk it off or walk it off or walk it off I mean I was really hurting and that kind of scared me because I thought I was going to have to take an ambulance home or something like that. So, I'm mean, and, and for me to be sitting in the chair like that for 12 hours, that's not a good thing, you know. Because I, you, you guys know me from my journey. I'm always out walking and I'm doing a lot of exercise. So now I got a problem in my inner thigh area along with my hip area, and uh, so my cousin Diane and my uh, nephew Glenn there, they uh, each one she won uh, 1,400 on a slot machine just before she left. And he won 1500 on a slot machine, and he ended up staying an extra night. He had a hotel room for uh, Friday night, and he uh, had a free comp for the next night, so he stayed double there. And uh, they were all heading back to work today, which is Monday. And, uh, yeah, but I was really tired when I got home, guys. We, we didn't get home till like, 9 o'clock uh, Saturday night. I, you know, I talked to Donner about it and, you know, messing around with the cat a little bit. He was happy to see me, and, you know, he was, he's was he been a really good cat all weekend. And... Uh, you know, I just, uh, I just don't know. I just don't want to do. It'll be a while before I go back there again. And uh, maybe next time we go back there, we'll go down to the Mohegan Sun because uh, yeah, they, the last last time I was there, they set it up of uh, spring, summer, fall, and winter four seasons. And it's a smaller casino, and it's not quite as much walking as Foxwoods. But that, that uh, I must have walked about three miles that day because when we got done. Um, you know, my sister wanted to gamble for a little while. My cousin did, and they, they each took two separate cars. And you know, uh, I, uh, you know, when you're with somebody, you have to leave on their terms and do what they want to do. You know, and I, I don't like that. I, I mean, when I'm by myself, I like to be by myself, and I like to do things myself. And I like to leave when I'm, when I want to leave. So if I'm with my wife, we can leave when we want to leave. We don't have to, you know, worry about somebody else. You know, you know, and, and that's the reason for that. But uh, yeah. So we didn't do that well on the weight loss this week. I, in fact, they found the food very, the food sucked up there. I got a uh, chicken club sandwich and I got a french fry because I was hungry and there was nothing else I saw in the menu that I wanted. There's 5,000 people playing bingo and they only had two workers behind the area that you know, giving out food. Before you used to get all free uh, water and coffee and, and soda and all that stuff free that they had. But now they don't, every day they want you to pay for everything now, you know, and, and uh, so a lot of people were going outside the area, getting something to bring it back. Or my sister, she brought a whole bunch of stuff to snack on and some waters and some sodas and stuff like that. So the rule of thumb now, next time if I decide I want to go back there, I'll be bringing my own stuff to eat and I'll bring my, my own stuff to drink because uh, I'm not I'm not dealing with that. But I, I could have gone up to the Dunkin' Donuts area and gotten a coffee there. My cousin got me a coffee towards mid-morning. But I was just, uh, I was really, really hanging that day. And, and uh, I had fun. But like I said, I'm not going to go back here anytime soon. Yeah, that'd be kind. Yeah, so we did the Friday night charity. The tickets came out fine. Uh, the, she had a nice crowd. She had about 180 some odd people. And uh, nobody won the charity tickets or anything like that where the bonus was won. And yeah, so what we got going on this week, guys? Um, well, it's going to be very nice this week from what I understand. All week long, right up into Sunday for a change. and no rain in sight. Uh, last night it was in the mid-40s. But the heat was kicking in all night. And uh, later on, starting tomorrow, Wednesday and Thursday and Friday and Saturday, weather is expected to be in the mid-70s. So uh, kind of like Indian summer. So we're going to go out and do some heavy-duty walking this week the best I can. It takes some great fall uh, colors. It's like the ones you're seeing behind me over there. And uh, cause I'm just filming in front of the green screen today. And uh, what do we got going on for uh, meals this week? Well, uh, chicken, chicken, chicken is the uh, theme for this week. And then I might cap it off and I might make a pizza later on in the week. And, uh, yeah, so I'm going to make some chicken wings today. And I'm going to... Uh, Actually, I bought a great big, uh, huge uh, package of chicken wings, and I want to do like about five or six at a time. And I'm going to try some different varieties of uh, recipes for the uh, chicken wings in the air fryer, and uh, see which ones I like best. And I'm, I'm filming it all out, and so I can have some good video. And uh, you know, it's, I've been trying to really get uh, go really better on filming. I did buy an overhead tripod. 
I ended up sending it back because I thought it was a waste of money. No matter what tripod I put it on, it would not support the weight of the tripod and it kept flopping all of our sites and this is bull crap. So that anyway, Amazon is good about that. They, they, they gave me back my money and uh, yeah, and I'm going to continue going walking this week and try to grab out some great fall uh, colors and so maybe do one or two dash videos. I think Donna wants to go shopping today and I'm going to continue on with the uh, journey and maybe now and then I'll pop in and do some live videos for you guys and just talk about things and uh, how things are going. And uh, again, we're not giving up on the journey. We, we Even though we had a little bit of a downer this week, you know, we, we're going to plan on doing some egg fasting this week, maybe probably towards the middle part of the week. Or just to plain keto meals, that you know, as long as you can't, you know, in order for me to get back at the ketosis, you really got to get under 20 net carbs a day. And if I maybe I might do an egg fast towards the middle part of the week for one or two days just to get myself back on track. And then once I'm back on track with the keto and with the uh, blow gone on my tummy, and then I can start to go back to the true keto and do the 20 net carbs a day and keep it simple. I like it simple. And, you know, I don't like anything spicy on my channel, on my food recipes, because I, I can't eat spicy foods. They tear up my stomach. I have acid reflux really bad. I break out into a cold sweat, and it feels like I'm having a heart attack. And, I, and, and it hurts for about two or three hours until it clears up, and I, and I constantly burp it up, you know, you know. So these are the battles that I deal with when I have acid reflux. But, uh, yeah, and then my wife's got a couple more doctor appointments this week. I'm trying to figure out what's going on with her. And, ay, ay, ay. So, anyway, but anyways, don't forget to be watching for some other amazing videos that I'll be posting with the chicken recipes. I'm going to continue filming out recipes here and there and put them up on the channel for you guys to enjoy. And, uh, I don't know. I think what I'm going to start doing is when I'm doing these recipes, I'm not going to talk over the video anymore. I'm just going to put it with the music and a little bit of uh, instructions over the timeline and uh in the in, in the amounts you, you know make it because i'm trying to make it simple you know because those of you guys guys and gals know that when you're filming video for for food and stuff like that it's very 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 time consuming and uh it takes a lot to film videos and and, and not so much really to film it but you know to uh actually put together the recipe and to edit it that's the type part that's consuming and then you got to create a thumbnail create a little script for it and then put it up on the YouTube channel. So so that the, these are some of the challenges that I had from the very beginning. That's why I never wanted to do recipes. And I don't want to copy somebody else's recipe. I want to recreate it to my own, you know. And again, that's the uh, noise that I have to deal with with a truck going by. And uh, But anyways, <laughs> be that as it said. So be watching for those recipes that I'll be putting up and, uh, and I'll put the recipe links below the video. If I if copied somebody else's video recipe. And uh, yeah, so again, don't forget to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Love you guys and uh, have an amazing week. And uh, don't forget to be watching for uh, week 167 next week. And uh, oh, yeah, this coming Saturday, we get the Halloween parade because that got pushed off because of the rain. The weather looks really good. I'll be filming that, and taking photographs of the kids with the uh, costumes on. And uh, that's about all we got going on this week. But anyways, enjoy your week. Enjoy your day. Remember, I love you. God loves you. Have an amazing day, guys.